Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Jazz Show on a Wednesday... Wednesday? Thursday afternoon for Crosswords and Chill. Somehow I'm still stuck in yesterday. Yesterday was cool. Yesterday was fine. I'll go back to yesterday. It's all good. Welcome to Thursday. We're going to do some crosswords very shortly. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday, not Wednesday. But I do hope your Wednesday was wonderful as well. My Wednesday concluded here on this channel with a, uh, a streak of 21 country guesses in GeoGuessr. It wasn't just me. It, actually, it was, it was very little me. It was mostly my chat, it has to be said. And uh, I commend them for how well that they did. I think it was fantastic. Previous record on this channel was five. And now the record to beat is 21. And it took us the entire stream. So if we're going to go for a, a streak again, probably need to clear away some time. It was supposed to just be a, an opening. But we took it and ran with it. And that was that. I'm just going to mute for a second to clear my throat. As you can hear, I'm a little croaky. Been a bit croaky all day, actually. I'm not quite sure why. It's a... Uh, it's a thing. Is this where the words cross? Yeah, like that. Just like that. Welcome, Rooster. How are you doing? How's your Thursday going? I'm getting confused about the days already. I said welcome to Wednesday at the start of the stream, which is, is not useful in any way, shape or form. We are here in Positivity Month. July the 1st kicks off Positivity Month here on The Jazz Show. It means that I, Jazz, The Jazz Show, cannot be negative in any way, shape or form on my stream or, for that matter, in the chats of other people's streams. So whomever I go and visit across Twitch, I can't chat away negatively either. I have to be positive. Otherwise, for each instance of negativity, I have to donate one British pound to charity. We have selected a charity. We did so last night. Our chosen charity is Mind. And if you want to join in and donate to the cause, you can do so all month at the link there. x and JG will bring that up at any point and you can get started uh, on the positivity train with me. Uh, cool, I'm in the right place. Excellent for the, for the words that cross. Uh, my Thursday sucks, I'm sorry to hear that, and I'm in pain and considering taking off work early, but I'm here for positivity. Hey, taking off work early is positive. You should do that. Tell them right now, I'm done. The day is over. I'm going to go and hang with Jazz and do some crosswords. Ain't nothing more positive than that. We'll crack into a crossword in a moment. We have... Uh, how many have I done? Six. I have six crosswords set aside. And uh, I do have a hard deadline of ten to five. I cannot go beyond that time. I need to go and get ready to collect the wife and take her to the gym. But I think we've got a good shot of getting those six in. If we if we crack on, basically. So here we go. I'm going to take a little drink. <clears throat> Try and clear my throat again. Does not want to clear. <clears throat> Which is not negativity. It's just a fact. Hopefully that will clear shortly. So I'm sure you explained it already, but I haven't heard. I'm guessing you and Alex have other plans on Friday. I don't. Alex does. Alex is at Wimbledon uh, watching the tennis on Friday night. And uh, I said to him, would you like to reschedule it to, to Saturday instead? And we'll do a Saturday night, don't get me started. He said, yes, I'd love to, but 
I'm in London on Saturday again, watching a musical. Like, right, let's not do one this week. That's fine, we'll do it next week. It's all good. Gives me a few more days to get ready for just how I'm going to be positive on, on Don't Get Me Started, a show designed as a vent of negativity. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited for it though. I think it will be fine. And I, I believe in myself. I think I can manage it. If not, mind are going to make hella money every Friday night in July. Here we are then. Let us begin. Crossword numero uno. Pipe in whenever you like. I will read the clues and uh, you can provide the answers and I'll provide some as well. Here are the acrosses. Timidity preventing further action. Four. Four. Spanish champagne. Four. Mum's brother. Five. Plants with showy coloured flowers from Mexico and Central America. Seven. Quickly and in large amounts. Four. 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 Ancient. Three hyphen three. Lack of foresight, six. Change completely in appearance, 12. Hybrid between grapefruit and mandarin, seven. A comfortable corner, five. Gentle and submissive, four. Check text for accuracy, four hyphen four. And the downs. Heart of the matter, four. Breastfed, seven. Binoculars, five, seven. Salad plant with bitter leaves, six. Good afternoon, Soph. How are you doing? Uh, excuse for not doing something, five. Breed of large dogs use in, used in police work, eight. Sweet dark red liqueur, six, six. General servant, eight. Piously solemn, two hyphen five. Balkan province that declared independence from Serbia in 2008, six. Little orphan of a Broadway musical, not the one with a gun, five. And went radically inclined four and those are our clues any that you have immediately throw them in the chat rooster kicks us off with cold feet for one across i think you are correct sir that's a good one mum's brother it's just gonna be uncle isn't it Seven down, Shepherd. Uh, I think it is a Shepherd, a German Shepherd, but I think the technical term for the, the Shepherds that they use in police work is an Alsatian, if that's spelt right. Uh, Mr. Harmstone, a very positive L2R2, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, I've put in uncle, but Annie, I think you're right for 18 down. Whom are they referring to? Who is the one with a gun? I was going Annie. I didn't have any other ideas in my head. So whom do they refer as the one with a gun? What else do we have? Five across, Carver. Oh, yes. Of all the wines, the, the champagne-y type ones, I think Carver is the one that I prefer, actually. Not a big champagne drinker, but a Carver will certainly be nice once in a while. On occasion. Ho! Lee. Hold on, 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 hold on
Hold on, hold on. First of all, unleash the squirrels. Get your dancing on. Join in with the squirrels. Give it that funky beat. <laughs> you ma you managed it this week, Andy. You managed it. You beat me to it. Being that as I've just started, that's probably not a surprise. Get your dancing squirrel on. Welcome in, everyone, from Andy Lippy Stream. Uh, I don't think I've got any mods here, so I'm going to have to shout you out myself. And spell it right would also help. There you go. If you uh, are not following Andy Lippy, go and do so. Especially if you are a streamer. Thank you for the follow, Cloud Strife. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Especially if you are a streamer, because perfect example with the follow from, from Cloud Strife. The majority of the cool stuff that I have going on in this stream is from Andy Lippy. He provides so many wonderful resources for streamers, all for free. Him and uh, friends of Andy in in what's known as Stream Up. So go and give him a follow if you're not doing so already. Massive, massive Andy hype. But welcome in. My name is Jez. If you don't know who I am, uh, this is the Jez Show. I am a variety streamer that I do a, a variety of uh, of different things. Today is crosswords and chill. I do every Thursday. Uh, we do some crosswords. We chill out. We relax. Uh, listen to the the chill, hypey music. I'm also a uh, member of the Twitch Sports Accelerator program, so I do a lot of sports broadcasts. So if you're into American football, professional wrestling, motor racing, uh, come on back at various times during the week for that. And I also do a lot of community-based gaming, uh, Jackbox, GeoGuessr, that kind of elk, quizzy type stuff. So welcome in. Did I hear wrestling? You did, uh, DGen Sour. DGen. So yeah, the main roster every Tuesday, Tuesday evenings at the moment until I uh, sort out my my childcare come the new school year. The main roster every Tuesday at 8 8 30 p.m. UK time. We go through all of the, the week's stuff. Chaotic Prankster, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. We're just kicking off our first crossword, so do hang out, join in. DJ and Sour, thank you for the follow. Andy Lippy, the man, the myth, the legend. Indeed. He's not a myth, he's real. I believe in Andy Lippy. <laughs> but welcome in. Welcome. So, the way that this works, face it to perish, thank you. The way that this works is that the clues are there in front of you. I have read them up. But I will read out them for future crosswords. And you can throw in your answers whenever you like. And I put them into the crossword and we try and complete it together. I'm just going to scroll up through the wonderful chat from the raid and see if I missed any before we came in. And I did miss one from Rooster Beast. Two down is lactate. Another word for breastfeed. Thank you. Uh, 50 pounds for a drink. Must be nice. Yeah. Thanks, Harmstone. Yeah. It was more than one drink, actually. Although, I could probably buy a nice five across for 50 quid, maybe. Oh, well, wow, that's an alert sound I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to think of a a more personal alert sound that's very me. And without encroaching on the other shows that I do, the wrestling and the, the other sports and stuff, can't really think of one, but that one does the job. Oh, is he real? I thought he was AI. No, he's I. He's I, because he's from up north. He's I. He's not AI, he's I. Hope you enjoyed the horrible accent. Ten across Dahlias. Thank you very much, Soph. Soph, how are you doing now that your uh, your exams are done? Have you found something to occupy your time? Or have you got more uni work? What's the score now? And I'm up to date. 
So if you have any answers for the crossword, do pass them over. So many acorns, I know, it's crammed. Appreciate everybody coming over. Wonderful Andy Dippy community. On a day that I'm losing my voice a little bit for no particular reason. And a day that is the first day of Positivity Month. Uh, I'm kicking off a special month in which I have to be completely positive, no negativity. And if I fail in that and I am negative, each instance I have to donate one pound, one British pound, to charity. And I've chosen Mind as a mental health charity. We're all about positivity and keeping those positive thoughts and you can help out if you want the just giving link is in the chat exclamation jg if you ever need it and i'm also going to run a 5k at the end of the month to to pad that total i'm good just chilling out uh going to brave watching all the marvel movies for the first time that will definitely take you a summer that will take you a while one down crux the heart of the matter indeed thank you always be chatting Okay. Three down field glasses. I've not heard that, but it seems to fit with what we have so far. Gives us a few more letters. What do you think of this one? Always be chatting. Sweet dark red liqueur. Seems like your wheelhouse. Uh, check text for accuracy I would have said is proofread but that doesn't fit 4-4 four, four. cherry brandy yeah cloud strife agrees I think that fits beautiful gives a Y at the end of our check text for accuracy change completely in appearance I'm going to say it's probably re something. There's not enough there to get there quite yet. A general servant? An assistant, possibly? Is that the right number of letters? Assistant, yeah. Could be. 11 across, hand over fist. Yeah. Twelve down, dog's body. That seems to fit better. Thank you. Gives us an O at the beginning of twenty across. Hybrid between grapefruit and mandarin. So an, an orangey grapefruit type thing. Six down, alibi. An excuse for not doing something. Thank you. Uh, four down. A salad plant with bitter leaves starts with E. E something D something V. Something. Probably an E at the end. Can't see what other letter would fit there unless it is a non English kind of word. Uh. Comfortable corner. I would have said a nook. But that's for only four letters. 14 across myopia. Great word. Great word, Soph. Thank you. Gentle and submissive starts with Y. As long as dog's body is correct. Any geographers in the room? Balkan province declared independence from Serbia in 2008. Yeah, the only reason I think dog's body may not be correct is because of this starting with YB. 
business for 22. Yeah, because this change completely in appearance is going to be trans or... No, it's not. And it helps if I spell it right anyway. Trans for... No, it doesn't fit for that. Not, f not with the brandy. I think it's trans something though. So I'm going to say dog's body isn't right. Kosovo? Put it in for now. Transmogrify. Cool. That's a wicked word. Absolutely wicked word. Wicked word. So we're back to finding something for a general servant. What's another, another phrase for proofread? Mr. Perry Show, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in. How's life? How's life treating you in the, the far north of the country? Good to see you. That one's really not coming to me. Uh, 13 across, age old maybe? Yeah, that fits with what we have. An age old tale. Copy edit. Thank you, DJ. That sounds like a, an older kind of journalistic phrase. Shorthand type thing. Copy edit. Too sweet. Is that a too? Is that actually a, uh, a a too sweet? It is. It is. Let's drop you a follow. What do you uh, stream, DJ? Nineteen down left. There you go. Went left. 21 across. A comfortable corner. I really would have thought it was Nook. 15 down, Poe faced. Poe faced. As in the Teletubby? To look like Poe? 12 down, Factotum. 12, 12, 12. There we go. That filled that one in. Gives us an M for gentle and submissive, so I would say that is meek, personally. I don't stream much now, but different stuff. Wreckfest, uh, Division 1 and 2, City Skylines. Cool. Cool. When, when if, you do stream. Definitely pop by. Throw up some two sweets. Love that emote. Twenty across Tangalo. That's much easier without the O at the beginning. So we've got a few left. Or a couple left even. Salad plant with bitter leaves. Six letters. E something D something V something. And our comfortable corner. Five letters. N something C something E. You changed the N to a B by mistake. I did. Thank you. I do that. Still need to create the... Uh, Jez can't spell command to do something on screen. Is it a niche? Is a comfortable corner a niche? 
Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a niche, isn't it? And then Cloud Strife, four down, end dive. I have heard that. Good answer. Okay. Gather in your GGs wherever you're subscribed and you've got a GG. We're going to check all and see if we're correct. If we are, you can throw your GGs in. Unleash the horses. GG's everywhere. That's crossword number one in the books. Very well done. And some new people helping us out. Thank you very much. Hope you're sticking around. We've got several more left. Uh, we tend to do five or six crosswords over the course of the session. So let's go straight to crossword number two. I'll read out the clues. You can start to answer whenever you like, uh, with however many you like. Here we are, the crosses of poor quality, four. Person with a record of successes, eight. Pole jumper, seven. Two flat surfaces meeting at other than a right angle, five. Phrase in a Christmas cracker, five. Ultimate goal, three hyphen three. Undemanding popular music, four, nine. Each, six. Center, five. Prize, five. Tool with a wooden handle and a heavy curved metal head, seven. Avid reader, eight. And the rest, abbreviation, two, two. And the downs, month, eight. Apples and pears, etc., five. Floor cleaner, six, seven. Retired, two, three. Venetian composer, died 1741, seven. Small rounded bread, four. Leisurely walk, six. Paint that dries with a sheen, eight. Highest female voice, five. Consequence of some previous happening, six. Give qualities to, five. Where the land and sea meet, five. And tender sheep meat, four. Right, let's have a look. Uh, Andrew Harmson starting off nine across a volta. Thank you. 25 across et al. Yes. Haven't used et al in a few years since I was writing essays for master's credits. Uh, 15 down soprano. Eight down stroll. Thank you, Saif. Fourteen across easy listening. Oops. Thank you, ABC. Two down stare. Apples and pears, stairs. I like that. It's Cockney Rhyme Slam. I think they are being literal. I think it's just fruit. <laughs> apples and pears, apples and pears. Fruit. Uh, seven down, cob. Uh, by the way, for those that haven't been here before, we are doing the Guardian crossword so it's UK based um, which is why there will be British English spellings and colloquialisms slang that kind of stuff so if you are from outside the UK just bear that in mind when you're trying to come up with an answer 20 down coast I went for a lovely run along the coast earlier after a week off from running I did think it was going to be fairly difficult, but 
not to gloat, smashed it. Three across, champion. If it is, then Cobb is incorrect. We cannot have champion and Cobb. Let's see if it... And that makes seven. Seven down, not particularly chill. I think I'd be more inclined with uh, champion than than Cobb. We can always revisit. Uh, or roll. Hmm. Could be. Could be none. Yeah, they are rounded, aren't they? We'll, we'll think about it. Six across Salieri. Fits with the eye, but not with this one, so I'm going to get rid of champion. No, I can get rid of champion. It isn't. It's not? No? You sure? Because it fits. It definitely fits. Twenty one down lamb. Yep. Thirteen down eggshell. Yeah. Now because of the eye at the end, in easy listening, I'd be more inclined with Salieri than than champion. I was typing into the chat. That's interesting. Uh, one down November. Levy in it. Cannot be much else. Thank you. 23 across pickaxe. One across naff. Yep. Thank you, Cloud Strife. <laughs> 420 across is blazer. It's not very, very well. I suppose that is very chill, actually. The after effect is chill. Welcome, future Wolfington. How you doing? Congratulations on the new job. Tell me all about it. I haven't had a chance to to come into your stream since hearing about it. Talk to me. Ten across, bull. Might the spelling be different, DJ? Six down, not Vivaldi. Hmm. That doesn't fit with this either. <laughs> I don't know. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. 24 across. A bookworm. Yeah. We can always put in the, the obvious ones and then, then come back. Vivaldi also ends in an eye and fits... Yeah. Does that, have you got something in mind for 10? With a V in the middle. Possibly. Three across is Achiever. Seven down would be Roll. Okay, yeah. And that's where we got the V for Vivaldi. Okay. You're, you're a step ahead of me. I see what's going on. I see what's happening. 22 across award. Yep, an award. Lovely. I think a few of us might think it's an award. Thank you to everyone. There are only so many Venetian seven letter composer, composers, especially ones that end in I. Yeah, I think you might have ex exhausted them. Uh, oops, needs more coffee. A ten across level. Yeah. Wait, is this a positivity stream? You know it. H-Bots, welcome in. 
I was brought on by the team behind Coyote and Crow, which is a tabletop sci-fi RPG that is about America that was never colonized. Ooh. The company is composed of indigenous writers, designers, artists. Wow. That's a cool job. Nice one, mate. I'm made up for you. That's really cool. Love that. 18 down in Dow. I'm positive it is. And we haven't had to throw uh, mind a quid yet. We're doing we're doing okay. I don't I don't think crosswords and chill is the is the stream that's gonna break me, if we're quite honest. Uh, that will come later. You never know. Might be a dodgy clue somewhere that sends me into a spiral. Uh, we've also reset our uh, acorn rankings for the month back to zero and with his win from the jump catch game Harmstone sends himself back to the top with 40 bucks Harmstone won June it's probably going to go for July as well the prize for July I will announce now is my new t-shirt that I haven't revealed yet get my new t-shirt if you win in July I'm going to be releasing a t-shirt probably later today or tomorrow uh, all of the proceeds from purchases of it in July will go to uh, Mind as part of Positivity Month so w well worth spending your money on a Jez t-shirt in the month of July and any other month for that matter 11 across motto you guys are on a, on the same wavelength uh, Cloud Strife and DJ and Sarah coming in within moments of each other uh, retired it's going to be in something isn't it can't think of any other two letter words starting with I In no, not coming right now. Let's see what we've got for some of the others. The ultimate goal three hyphen three, nothing for the first word, something L something for the second. I think ten across is actually bevel. Okay, that's fine. Oops, thanks for uh, replying to that. So if I had missed that uh, that comment from Wolfie. So yeah, in bed now, Fitz. You retire to bed. Beautiful. So now the ultimate goal has a D on the end of the first word and end all. The be all and end all. Welcome, Pico. I did see you uh, lolling back there. Welcome aboard. How's your day going? Each six letters, something P, something E, something, something. Something about sharing. Doing good, just downloading some new games on the Switch. Beautiful. Sounds like a nice chill Thursday. Are you, uh, you working today? Day off? Is Switch games the order of business for the day? New Mario Golf. Oh, is it out? It was one of the uh, the E3 games that I was most tempted by. I don't have a Switch, but I'll buy the game anyway. Whatever. And yep, the next two weeks off for paternity leave. Beautiful. Isn't it great being a dad? Love that. A piece for 17 across. Yeah, very nice. Thank you, Armstrong. You can buy it for me, Jez, and I'll tell you how good it is. I positively probably will not do that, but I appreciate the sentiment. Wolfie as well? Yeah. I'll, I'll add you to the list. I'll, I'll make a list and check it several times. Maybe even twice. 
that sounds like negative talk to me. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I was smiling the whole time. It might be negative for you because you don't get a game for free. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds pretty negative, Jess. All right, I'll keep a tally. I'll just move my Klingon out of the way. There you go. Fine. That's the first, the first pound to uh, to mind. Let's go to a 19 across. The center, something, something C, something S. Now, I was going to say Nexus, but nothing is going to start with an X in the middle. And Coast fits perfectly, so maybe not. Uh, four down Carpet Sweeper. That might help us with... No, it doesn't. 16 down is what would help us. The focus, yeah, I dig it. Focus. And that leaves the consequence of some previous happening, the effect. GG's at the ready. Here we go with check all. Looks good to me, didn't see anything disappear. Release the GG's. Crossword number two is in the books. Seventy-five percent complete now on the, the twelve hour stream challenge. Uh, there are two days left. So it's not it's actually not unachievable. Now I think about it. If you have any channel points and you'd like me to stream for 12 hours and be positive for 12 hours, get your points in there. There's about 22,000 left. And Sophie's battle roiling. Imagine how much money Mind could make if I was streaming for 12 hours, especially towards the latter end, and I had some drinks as well. We need 12 hours of positivity. There will be some crosswords in there. This is a hell of a battle royal. I kind of want to watch this happen. Hang on, let's jump back to, to chatting. Let's just see who might come out the victor. Let's bring the screen over here. We're down to the final final five now. Hbox not looking good. It's down to Fbox and Tai Chili. Fbox makes a retreat, comes back, picks up some health on the way. Could be valuable. Goes in for the attack. There's another health at, at, on offer. Ty Chili picks it up, evens the score. Fbox gets a hit in on the way back out. Hanging on by a thread, Ty Chili may take this. Ty Chili with Chili. Ty Chili with the victory. Your first battle royal champion of the month of July will go top of the leaderboard with 500 acorn bucks. Good job, Tai Chili. Currently in the running for the unreleased Jazz t shirt. Okay, crossword number three. As always, get your answers in as and when you are ready. I will read out the clues, especially important at the bottom because the acorns are covering everything. Uh, the acrosses. Green shoots cooked and eaten as a vegetable. Nine. 1960s style of abstract painting with dramatic visual effects. Two, three. With a legally valid will. Seven. Annual circle in a trunk showing its age. Oh yeah. In a tree trunk. Four, four. Make more acute. Four. Drinking glass. Six. Hello. Six. Sieve. Four. Conforming to the established standard. Eight. Edible marine mollusk. Oban ale anagram. Seven letters. Extra time in bed in the morning. Three hyphen two. North Korean capital. Nine. And the downs. 
person appointed to act for another in legal or business matters. Eight. Obvious. Six. Reddish brown coating caused by oxidation. Four. Book with a comic comic strip format. Seven. Five. Tried to persuade by flattery. Five hyphen seven. Token stuck on a letter. ATM stoppages. Anagram. Seven. Five. Large Asian beast. Domesticated for use as a draft animal. Five. Seven. Long and exhausting march. Eight. Old Spanish coin. Six. And finally, smell unpleasantly. Four. We'll put your clues in shortly, folks. I'm just going to have a swig. <clears throat> okay. Six down, postage stamp. That fits. That's very quick anagramming I guess the if you understood the clue which went kind of over my head then it's uh, a fairly easy clue good job 15 down peseta or peseta peseta is that how you say it 20 across lie in hoping for a lion myself maybe tomorrow who knows 21 across, Pyongyang. Four down, graphic novel. It sound right, boy. Lovely. And Cloud Strife lay in. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Lion because of graphic novel. It could have been either. Absolutely could have been either. person appointed to act for another in legal or business matters I'm gonna say is an advocate holler if you disagree three down rust yep. um, not sure about the V at the end of eight Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, fair point. Perhaps not. Do we know it? Do we know what it might be? Uh, a goblet, 13 across. That's what I was trying to think of. I was thinking of the one with the handle uh, that you... The old uh, navy kind of cup glass you drop a penny into enlist people a like a tankard for lack of a better term gob let okay so advocate is not correct let's clear that and we again look for person appointed to act for another in legal or business matters What's it called? I, I know that we're, that we're talking about business, but what is it called when you have somebody take over your estate, like in your will? Executor? Yeah, that's the word I'm thinking of. Doesn't fit with goblet. Attorney? That could work. Let's try it. Attorney. Okay. Doesn't quite. Attorney. Yeah. Attorney would be my suspicion, but I don't like it, says Harmstone. I'm fine with it. Another excellently written clue by The Guardian. Green shoots cooked and eaten as a vegetable. Cloud Trife says asparagus. Gives us an E. 
an E, an A. Continues the A. So attorney may be right. Uh, obvious. Patent. Starting with P. Obvious. Patent. Possibly. Annual circle in a trunk. A tree ring. And I think attorney is right. That's another one. Intersecting. And it works for patent too. Let's do it. We have a uh, a T at the beginning of nine across. With a legally valid will, seven letters. T something S something A something something. Test like testament. Test testate. Does that work? Works for now. Five down sugar coating. Oh. Kills my test date, but that's okay. Not 100%. On it. So let's clear it. Not coming to me now with the, the G on the end, but I do think that's right. Thank you, DJN. Um, smell unpleasantly ending in G. It's going to be Pong. Long and exhausting march. Not sure. To sieve. To sift, perhaps. To make more acute. If you make something more acute, you make it smaller, do you? You don't think sugar coating will be right? Okay. Gives us an O at the end of 14. Sweet talking. That works. Yeah, yeah. I'm more happy with that. So it's an A now at the end of 14. Test. Test 8. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said, but we've got a G. Sweet talking. Yes, I left it sugar talking. My bad, my bad. Sweet talking. Then my test date fits. Thank you. There we go. Go team. So that's a T at the end now. Make more acute. An A at the end of hello. It's got an exclamation at the end, suggesting it, it might be a, a proper noun. The magazine, hello. Is it a type of magazine, perhaps, that would fit this? Just throwing out ideas. 11 across could be shut, but I don't like it. Yes, you do. You love it. Or wet. Hmm. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading. Reading a positive message from Always Be Chatting. Coming through on my messenger. Um, yeah. What does wet mean with a H? Sharpen the blade of a tool or weapon. She took out her dagger and began to wet the blade in even rhythmic strokes. Okay. It's kind of 
benefits. A thing that stimulates appetite or desire, as in to wet your whistle. That is the, uh, the correct wet, isn't it? Hit a wall here, I think. An Asian beast domesticated for use as a draft animal. Fourteen across Aloha. You are you're missing a letter. It's a six letter word. Something something C something A. But it could just be a another way of saying hello, possibly. They went to wet your whistle and not wet your appetite. Grim. <laughs> Edible marine mollusk. Oban ale. There you go. I was going to say anemone, but I don't think they're edible anyway. Forming to an established standard. Eight letters. Something E, something, 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 O, something K. Is this last part going to be work? With a K on the end, it's going to be difficult. We've got the we've got one A used, there's another A in there. Textbook. That's how we make that fit. Thank you, Cloud. Uh, what am I looking for? 14. 14, 14. No, yes, no, 17. Textbook. And 14 across. Watcher! Uh, Alright. Yeah, I groaned. Fine. It's a pound to mind. <laughs> a groan is not, not positive, is it? So, there you go, mind. Thanks, Guardian. You're allowed to groan, that one is silly. No, rules is rules. That was negative. Although I now know what they're complaining about in the comments. Uh... Regular Os Ostracon. A stiff objection to the debasement of standards by including 14 across. So, he didn't like it either. He, she, shouldn't assume. He, she, they. Right. 19 across. Abalone. Abalone. Not heard of that. I'm sure it's scrumptious. Which carries a great pun on Animal Crossing. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I've not played Animal Crossing. Did we come up with a... a particular want for... Uh, four, uh, 11 across, make more acute. Do we want to go with wet or shut? You think it's shut? That's in close a door. Yeah, to make more acute. I knew that from an old roommate of mine who used to scuba dive, but couldn't remember the name. There you go. This is a team game. The, uh, Crosswords and chill. Make my monster grow. Welcome. Op art. Thank you for that one. That was not at all coming to us. So that's done. A long and exhausting march. Eight letters. Acute is a sharp angle. Wet to make sharp. That's true. Yeah. The problem is, and it's not really a problem, it's a good problem to have. I like both of your answers, so we might have to throw one in, check it, 
and see if it disappears or not. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put in shut first, because that came in first. Let's check it, and it's gone. So let's try it wet. Let's check it, and it's in. Cloud Strife is victorious. The champion of acuteness. Cloud Strife 37. Ore Sanjo. Welcome, Jaeger. How's it going? How's Thursday treating you? Seven down, water buffalo. I'm annoyed at myself for not solving that one. I wouldn't be. I've never heard that. He uses a draft animal, as in they used it for work? For war? They used to use it to deal with rice paddies. Cool. So that leaves us with long and exhausting march. Eight letters. Something O, something T, something L, something G. One of the most famous amazing race, race quotes referring to a water buffalo. My ox is broken! Nice. Foot slog. Thank you, Cloud. Absolutely welcome to the stream. You fit in very well. Here we go. Checking all. GG's at the ready. It all remains. Get your GG's out. Three crosswords down. Very nice too. Apart from the foot slog. That one. Oh. I didn't even... The yellow confused me. Did I not put an S in? Yeah, I obviously mistyped. It is foot slog. There we go. No harm done. No harm, no foul. Crossword number four. Here are the clues. The cross is first. Aim, descent, six. Plant, disease, calamity, six. Lizard that can't blink, five. Nutty confection, seven. Large retail outlets, seven. Rabbit residence, five. Drunk stole, nine. Mosque prayer leaders, five. Grand dinner, seven. Unit of heat energy, seven. Sesame flower and honey confection, five. One of the home counties, six. Consisting of a haphazard assortment, six. And the downs. Wild parties, six. Kitty, top prize, seven. Singing group, five. Tanned animal skin, seven. Grain for grinding, Five. Develop Nashers, six. Apparently reasonable, nine. Watch carefully, seven. Increased 100%, seven. Throwing event, six. Not subject to change, six. More capable, five. And India's first prime minister, five. Only one injury in that. I must admit there are some challenging ones there. 17 across imams. Or just imam. No? 1M. 1M in the middle. Imams. Gotcha. So a tanned animal skin is going to be a leather, I'd suggest. 
nine. Nine across. Praline. Lovely, thank you. Oh, I do love a praline. That's a nice bit of chocolate, that. Got some chocolates here somewhere. Just suddenly spurred my memory. God knows where I've put them. But I feel like I fancy a chocolate. Just one. If only I could find them. Alright. No chocolate then. Never mind. Uh, plant disease calamity. I'm going to say is blight. Gives us a T at the beginning of develop Nasher. So it's just going to be something to involve involving teething. Can we, but I don't know how that fits. T... Teethy? Teethy, anyone? Uh, seven down. Teeth. Oh, okay. With an E on the end. Teeth. Okay, nice. Thank you, Cloud. Nineteen. Uh, a banquet, yes. Uh, make my monster grow. Could I ask you to also include an A or a D next to the number so we know which direction it is? Just for me to do things at a glance. I haven't got the mental capacity to look at both quickly. My brain doesn't do that. Let's have six down. Grain for grinding. Now, I was going to say that this is um, wheat, but that doesn't fit at all. So, G something I something something. I'll think about that one. 11 across a hutch, yeah. Um... One of the home counties, it's probably Sussex. No, nope. that's not how you spell it. That's it. Mm. Got a T at the end of our grain now. A singing group will be a choir. Grist. I heard of that. Thank you. I read that as six six D. Don't know why. But you did put six G. No worries. Large retail outlets. Increased 100%. Doubled. Thank you, Cloud. Hey, Cat. How you doing? Give some food after I finished, alright? Apparently reasonable. Beginning with P. Third letter from the end is a B. No. Can't get it right now. A lizard that can't blink. A gecko? Can a gecko blink? Can a gecko blink? Geckos don't have eyelids. So they can't blink. Instead, these reptiles lick, lick their own corneas to keep their eyes clean and moist. Well, that is something I have learned today. Send your cats, my love. It's the antisocial one. Ugh. Some 
her ASMR for you. Should I turn the music off for a second? Listen to that. Soothing, isn't it? Very chill. You're not at all happy, though, are you? No, you're not. No, you're not happy about this. Not the most social, are you? Mainly you're just here for the food. Now that's ASMR, right? It's funny how it's not quite so ASMR at five in the morning, right in your ear, but... You know, you have cats, you face the consequences. Plausible for nine down. Plausible. Good stuff. Gives an E at the end of 21. Unit of heat energy. <laughs> like, ah, no, put me down. Not subject to change, so fixed in some way. It's a U after the A. What did I put? Oh yeah, thank you. Drunk stole. That's gonna be an E. Something erred. No. Not plastered. Something that means drunk and stole. No, I'm not sure there. Unit of heat energy. No, I haven't got many of that for that. Sesame flower and honey confection. Trousered? Is it? Nice, I like that. Never heard that before. Got a T at the end of two down, we haven't addressed this one yet. Kitty, top prize. Seven letters. Something, something, C. Something, 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 T. I assume it means kitty not as in cat, but as in a pot of money. The top prize. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think it lets you bet everything you have. Jaeger, I think you need to uh, leave one there. So I think you, the most you can you can slots is five. I think. Mm. Some of these are really tough. Aim descent. Consisting of a haphazard assortment. Six letters. Something, something, something. D. Something, something. Calorie for 21. Oh, yeah. Got a few in this now. That's going to be observe to watch carefully. Do you think they're going that side? You're going to get you fed quicker. It's not. Um, what else have we got some letters to? 16. 
No, not enough letters there to really help us. 15 down, a throwing event. Discus. The Olympics coming up. I'm very excited about the Olympics. Need to get some more um, Wimbledon in. And by more, I mean some. I haven't watched any yet. It's very unlike me. Put some on this evening, I think. Uh, which is a nice, neat little segue. Uh, this is the, the last Crosswords and Chill at 3 p.m. Thursdays for a while. Going back to the evenings for a couple of weeks uh, until the summer. When, when the missus finishes for the, the school year and I'll have definite childcare again on uh, on Thursday afternoons and then after the summer she'll start she being my daughter will start uh, kindergarten so Thursdays will be free again but for the next few weeks after this I'm going to have evening crosswords on Thursdays early evening, 7 o'clock Okay, we've got that one. More capable. A Abler making that one Surrey. Okay. I was thinking the Abler fit. So I'm glad that you've been corrected, the home county. Thanks, Cloud. Okay. A wild party with a G in the middle. None of these are jumping out to me at all. I'm afraid my Indian history is not of any caliber, so I don't know who India's first Prime Minister was. I assume it wasn't that that long ago. When did we we the Commonwealth or the British Empire? When did we grant India um, independence? Abu? It's five letters, Jaeger it starts with N. Does Abu have another name? Is that his surname, first name? Abubu. Again, it starts with N. <laughs> and it's the first Prime Minister. Consisting of a haphazard assortment, so things are all over the place. They're not arranged nicely. They are... These are some challenging ones. N Nehru, okay. Now we have a U in our haphazard assortment. <laughs> One down orgies. That's a wild party. Could it? No, they wouldn't do that, would they? <laughs> and it fits with the letters. Um, I'll give an I for ten. Naboo? Isn't that a planet on Star Wars? Are you, are you just saying words with vowels in them? Because that's stereotypically Indian. Not sure how I feel about that. Ten across, large retail outlets. Superstores. That doesn't fit. Mega Mart? Doesn't fit, I'm afraid. 
It's got an A on the end. Something, 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 something. R, something, A. Sixteen down, steady. Okay. Our sesame flower and honey confection is now H something L something A. And I'm still none the wiser. That's pretty much the entire word and I'm none the wiser. Sounds very tasty. But I've never heard of it. And I will be googling when we know what they are to see what they look like. We may be revealing one or more of the answers at this rate. Queen Amidala, ruler of Naboo. I think if we're going to reveal one, this one might be the best one because we're going to get three. No, that one? One. Get two other clues from those. Sundry? Didn't know that meant haphazard. But I will accept it. Right, to recap, these are the, uh, the ones that we have left. Aim or descent, six letters. The only letter we have is C something, probably an E. C E. Your aim. Your aim is your... One across object. Object or object. Okay, cool. So our wild party. It does... It, I think it is going to be orgies. Got over at the beginning. Okay. Certainly wild. Certainly a party. Fits the bill. Gives us an E for large retail outlets. Emporia. Well. Wow. I think it is. I think it is, man. And then the jackpot is the top prize. We've just got our sesame flower and honey confection left, and then we can we can hit check all and see if it is orgies. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Helva. It's as good a guess as any. Let's check all. Fingers crossed for orgies. It is as well. It's not not Helva. Holva. Or did I put the wrong letter in? Halva. Halva. Check all again. Everything else has remained. Including orgy. That's how it's done. Okay, it's 25 past four. We've got about 25 minutes before I need to pack up and head out. So that gives you a, a time scale on our last two crosswords. If we can get this one done in about 10, 15 minutes, then we've got a chance at, at crossword number six. So let's crack on. <laughs> Yay for orgies. Let's throw some GGs out there. GGs for orgies. Or GG's. And here are the clues for crossword number five. Quick way to find a partner, five, six. Facial expression, four. High heel, eight. 
Salty Lake on the Israel-Jordan border, 4-3. Join, wed, 5. In accordance with regular practice, 5. Bundle of beer cans, tight abs, 3-4. Excessive amount, 8. Flagellate, 4. That doesn't sound family friendly either. Aintree or Goodwood event, 4, 7. And the downs. Haricot seed, or harico seed, depending on your pronunciation, 4. Epic voyage, 7. Ship's sleeping room, 5. Distortion by which things can pass from one period to another. That's a good sci fi question. 4, 4. Moving computer image, 6, 5. Begin, 3, 8. Acceleration contest between cars, 4, 4. Cricketer when not batting, 7. Florida City, 5. And Capricious Idea, 4. What do we have? Five across from H Ports, speed dating. There's a pun in there. Something always be chatting would be incapable of doing it on account of the chatting. Yeah, that whole minute thing would really, really not happen. I've always wanted to go speed dating. The marriage thing kind of stands in the way of it. But, I, but we have agreed that maybe we go speed dating together one day as a, a fun event. Because why not? Um, stiletto, eight across. Double L or one L double T? One L double T. E T T O. Okay. Fifteen down, Miami. Welcome to Miami. Benvenido a Miami. Five down, a screensaver. Green saver, apparently. Go friend speed dating. Is that a thing? Three down, cabin. That fits. Thank you. Twelve down, fielder. Oh, yeah. When you're not batting, you're fielding. And 10 down a drag race, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, what was the other that jumped out to me? It is now, I'm gonna be rich. Seriously, if that isn't a thing, you should get all on that. 18 across, race metting, 18, 18. Was that supposed to be a race meeting? A race meeting. It's very. It sounds like a very old school bit of terminology. Where are you going this weekend, Godfrey? I'm going to the race meeting, Frederick. The race meeting at Aintree. Would you care to join me? No. Very well. As you were. Begin. It's going to be get something. Oh, this one. Distortion by which things can move from one period to another. I thought it was a wormhole, but I guess not. Get starting. Awkward phrasing, but could be, could be. Um, blah, 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 blah. An excessive amount. Too much. Too much of it. It's going to be an over fill. 
Overfell? Overfell. Says Cloud also. A bundle of beer cans, or tie tabs, is a six pack. So not get started. Let's go down this way. We'll come back to it when we have more clues. Haricot seed, haricot seed. I thought it was just called a haricot. A time warp. Mm. Let's do the time warp again. 11 across. Join, wed, marry. One down. Bane. Yeah, Bane probably works. Get cracking. There we go. I'm more happy with that answer. What have I done wrong? Get cacking, which is a very different thing. Very, very different thing. Thank you, Hannah. These 17s are going to be the bane of our, our existence. So to flagellate is to, to kind of pump someone up. Thank you, Jaeger. Because you can self-flagellate, can't you? And that's to give yourself kudos. You can talk yourself up. Oh, it's cat number two. Let's see if we can get cat number two. Pidgey, do you want to say hello? Where have you gone? There you are. Do you want to say hello? Two cats in one stream? That's never happened before. You do? Don't. Run away. She's gone. Hello, happy Positivity Month, and a happy Positivity Month to you as well. We've got a tally going, don't know if you can see that, but we've got two on it so far. We had, we've had two transgressions so far. Isn't 17 across whip? Oh yeah, could be. I thought self-flagellating is talking yourself down, is it? Oh, I've been using it wrong all these years. There you go then. Okay. Learn something new. So a capricious idea. A whim. There you go. I was about to embarrass myself by saying what I thought capricious meant and it probably being wrong, but that fits with what I was thinking, so. So that will do. A few left. An epic voyage. Seven letters. Something D, something S, something, something, something. Seven across is grin. You did say that, my bad. A grin. I remember stocking that in my head and thinking, I'll go back to that one. I mean, using it, though, is very positive of you. Then we'll claim it. That was exactly what I intended to do. Here comes a battle royal. We've already had one victor of the battle royal. Can I do it again? Just briefly pause to see what happens. Ticket Stom picked up the health and has immediately lost it again. Whoever that was in the racing car has exploded. Mystagon with some health. Takes out Fallen Shader. Tamsin's out. Cloud Strife has just torn through another victim. And will probably move on to get the health. Yes, I think the health could do it. But there's a health there. Probably Stoned is ignoring it. Probably because he's stoned. And he's done! Cloud Strife, 37 wins the second Battle Royal of July, gets himself 500 acorn bucks, and now sits 
at the top of the table, currently in the running to win the yet unreleased Jazz T-shirt that I'm going to release later today. Just basically waiting for me to put it into the system. But well done, Cloud Strife. It's a very good start to the month. Two down, Odyssey. Odyssey. Apologies for lateness. After a day of wordsing, my need to walk and chill was greater than my need to crossword and chill. Fair enough. No judgment here. Whatsoever. Welcome in now. You are very welcome. A salty lake on the Israel Jordan border is the unhelpfully named Dead Sea, right? Known for being able to float in it very easily, I believe. Yeah. Okay. In accordance with regular practice, five letters, something S, something A, something. The standard, not that word, but the same kind of thing. I have floated in it, that's cool. I've not been to that part of the world at all. Usual. There you go. Nice one there. Was that the last one? That was the last one. That crept up. I thought we had a couple more after that. Let's check all then. GG's at the ready. And then we definitely have time for crossword number six. Overkill then instead of overfill. Let's try that. There we go. I don't think anything else disappeared. Other than the letter in excessive amount. Nope, that looks good. Unleash your GGs. Again, if you've got GGs from other streamers, go ahead and use those. Do I have any other GGs at the moment? Let's have a look. Got hype and hype. Um, ba -ba -bum. Be great. I like that one. I think that's all I've got. Let's have a look at those. We like those. Well played. Like that one too. That's a stand. Is that a standard Twitch emote? Emote. Yeah, a Twitch global emote. There you go. Did not know that one existed. It's a nice one. Ah, it was Jaeger in the racing car. It got exploded early. Okay. Crossword number six. But before I do that, let me just jump back to chatting quickly. I'm going to have a little look at what else is coming up today. Uh, I cannot put the Primetime Streaming Network schedule up because I haven't done one. So I'll just talk you through it. Uh, the remaining streams in our team for today uh, is Mama S at 6.30 BST. It's 1.30pm Eastern. She's playing Detroit Become Human. And at 7.30 it's Always Be Chatting, who's in the stream. Hanging out there with his people's acorn. Underneath my mouth. He is continuing his ABC's ABC's series. And is on the letter D. Be a bit of chatting, a bit of singing, all related to the letter D. I assume they'll be singing. I'm backing him into a corner if he wasn't planning on doing that, but they better be. That's all I'm saying. I'm tuning in for singing. You should too. And that's that. Crossword number six is as follows. Here are the clues. A cross is first. Target of abuse, four, five. Tie, four. Fine thread, eight. Keep several things going at the same time. The the phrase you're looking for is attack. H ports, not fight. Or duel, if you want to try and take money I don't have. I don't think I collect money. 
Uh, 11. Style of hat for a woman. 6. Buddhist chant. 6. Someone who finds pleasure in hurting others. 6. Unexpected piece of good luck. 8. Hangover menacingly. 4. Large hoofed animal with a very thick skin. 9. And the downs are work extra hard to achieve something. My oh, yeah, acorn's going for a ride. Hang on, where are we? She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Set. Hug. Off he goes. Two, smother, suppress. Six. Characteristic of the French. Six. Much valued. Fruit. Four. Using compressed air. Nine. In a difficult situation. Two, three, four. US flag. Three, five. Indifference. Six. Food dishes. Often tossed and dressed. Six. And take a gun from its holster. Four. Some drink ASMR. Ooh, that's not ASMR. That's that's beating the mic. Just a little top up. <laughs> Seven down. It's not family friendly. Okay. Eight across. Not. I was thinking not, or it could be a tie as in, in sports, it could be a draw. So we'll bear that in mind when we get there. I definitely think in a difficult situation it's going to be in the something. I don't think it's it's what you've put. I don't think the Guardian used that kind of language. Who knows? 15 across, sadist. 15 down. Salad. No, there's six letters. Hannah. Salads, plural, maybe. Two things you don't want to mix up. You don't want to mix up your sadists and your salads. You don't want to walk into a restaurant and ask for a sadist. The, war the Wardolf, Wardolf sadist, maybe? Yeah, I think I'll have the Wardolf sadist, please. Uh, with a side of masochism now we pluralized it because it's dishes food dishes it's plural so it works 18 across loom yep so our, our difficult situation is in the s something o something in the stom, stum. You back? You back to go on camera again? Back for strokes. Like to give the chat some more ASMR. Um. Okay, so take a gun from its holster to draw, draw your weapon. US flag is old glory. Um, starting to pick up the pace a bit because I do need to finish in about five minutes. Or so. Um, keep several things going at the same time to juggle. Much valued fruit. Am I going to win this? Or is DJ Sour? DJ Sour is clearly going to win. There you go. Another battle royal. Another victor. The third victor of July. The third different victor of the month. DJ Sour. Who hadn't jumped onto the board yet. Give me my leaderboard. I pressed it too early. Come on, 
cooldown. I'm on cooldown for my own thing. Nice, thanks. Cool. Yeah, like it. Uh, five across Aunt Sally. Never heard that before. Working extra hard to achieve something, I think is bust a gut. In a difficult situation, in the soot, is in the right? Let's check that first. No, it's on the. Now can I lead a board? Yes. There we go. So D Gen jumps into first place, tied actually. Five hundred and forty-eight acorn bucks each. Still all to play for. With 30 more days to come after this one. A very large hoofed animal with thick skin. No. On the spot. Thank you. That'll be it. Much valued or a fruit? Something else, something, something. Much valued. A fruit that's a cinnamon, synonym for something valuable. Characteristic of the French. Nine across filament. Thank you. So much valued is it a plum? Then that fits with the letters. Two down. Smother. Suppress. Sti oops. Stifle. Eleven across. A style of hat for a woman. No idea. That's where I definitely need your help. Something something O, something H something. Fashionistas, let me know. A Buddhist chant. Unless it's Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, then I don't know it. Gallic. Our hat begins with C. Indifference. Cloche. Thank you, Tamsin. What's six down? Using compressed air. Pneumatic. Thirteen across Buddhist chant. Sixteen across unexpected piece of good luck. A windfall. Fourteen down. Indifference. Apathy. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this one all all of my <laughs> all on my own a little bit. Definitely with your help, but kind of tearing away on my own. I do apologise. I might play Horizon tomorrow, not Fortnite. You do you, man. You're right at the end, aren't you? So you need to correct your nut. That's what she said. Where's my nut? Juggle. Oh. Oh, okay. But it's not it's not that then. Yeah. So bust a nut. Yeah, not bust a gut. 
So it's not juggle. Okay. Oh no, it is. It's right. What? Why did that turn into an N? I'm confused. No worries. It is juggle. Okay, good, good. This one I'm not at all sure about. A large hoofed animal with very thick skin. Something A, something H, something D, something R, something. 13, your mantra. A mantra. Okay. Cool. So it's just our thick skinned, large hooved animal. To finish us off. Pachyderm. Okay. Put that in. Pack a derm. And we're checking all. GG's at the ready. Looks good to me. Packy derm. Check all. Did I put the wrong letter in? Why? Packy derm. Why then? Okay, cool. Nice. GG's. GG, GG's. I'm on the wrong page to press my GG button. There it is. Very nice work, people. Very nice work. Let's jump back to chatting. I hate to cut and run. I really do. But uh, I must depart. Go and pick up the, the wife and get her to the gym. Quick sharp. Let's see who is online. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Let's go and see. Let's go and see a new, a new friend of the stream. Their name is Courtesy Laugh, which is a great name. Lovely. So remember, regular viewers, there is no Don't Get Me Started tomorrow night. Alex is away. Uh, you can find me next on Sunday for the effing racing show for the Austrian Grand Prix, I want to say. I think it's, I think we're in Austria. The Austrian Grand Prix with me and Duff Valley and Research One doing a watch along and giving you all the news analysis that you might want for the Formula One. I will see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Uh, I've only had to spend two pounds today. That's a good start. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.